Okay, hello. This is the very quick video on how to import and use PQ Grid Kit. So, so to get started, you're going to want to import it. Um, either you can go and drag in these clips separately if you know what you want, if you're familiar with it. Um, but just to be nice and neat, you could use this little Grid Kit importer, which will pull in the whole library into one little folder called PQ Grid Kit. It's all already split into um, little categories that I thought made sense. So you're going to need to get familiar with those, see which ones you like, see which, whatever fits your style. There, there's way too many to even start to go into. So yeah, let's, let's try a few of these. So how about I grab sand from one time when I went to Laguna Beach. Drag it in. You're going to want to scale that down to whatever size. And then you're just going to want to find a blend mode that will work with it. A good place to start is either multiply, screen, or overlay. So multiply is in the darken section. So all these guys will darken your stuff. It looks dark. You could pick one from the lighten section. Any of these will lighten up your stuff. So screen, it's going to be brighter. Or somewhere in the middle, sort of a mix of dark and lights. Overlay is usually pretty good. Ta-da! Isn't that lovely? Let's try out this wood hardboard one. Scale it down. Actually, you can do uh, Command Alt Shift H, and that'll just size it to I think comp height. Let's try overlay on that, and it's already just immediately. It's really nice. And there you go. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's try used sandpaper. Scale to fit. You try overlay again. And if I do say so myself, that's looking pretty sweet. You can try it, some of these other blend modes. Vivid light. Is it just me or is that cool? I don't know. Here's one I was playing with earlier. Um, you can see I've used oven tray set to difference. Soap speckled overlay, cruddy mouse mat set to overlay. And like the cool part is like, you know, the, I, these are just dropped over like you can see this is just a solid in the background. Like if I solo these two, it's just that. You know, and to get an idea, like this, I could still just modify the color of the solid back here and you can start to appreciate like what's going on there. Here's another one that I've used with a sponged ink pattern and with another ink ruler texture as well to, to blend the text. These originally were colored inks and colored paints and whatever. That's why you can see colored titles in there even though like they're all black and white. Like I really like this sort of use for this. Um, so here's a good example of how I think you should be using um, curves or levels to sort of pull the black and white points of each of the things. If I just solo this guy for a second and turn off, so basically when you bring it in, it's like this. It's, it's sort of a little bit subtle. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of detail in it. But I just find that if you just pull your white point and then you really get to pull out like you make these details really, really strong. This is actually just in front of a red solid. So I'm multiplying it to knock out all the highlights, which is why you can see through it there. You know, you're just seeing right through to the, the base layer underneath. Generally, if, uh, if you want to pull out the highlights, you just pull that back, make the highlights more predominant. If it's a, a bright texture and you want to pull out the darks, you know, you could bring in that black point. So you're, you're going to really want to like get in and like pull out the detail that you want. I also just wanted to show like one of the, like a nice use case for this, which is basically using the textures as luma mats to, to break up different images. In this case, I'm using text, which is basically, so I'm setting the bright parts of this crayon texture, which looks like this. So the bright parts are fully opaque and dark are transparent and you need know, to get all that graduation in between. So. Yeah, this is a really great way to just sort of bring texture and however subtly you want to do it to, to pretty much anything. Yeah, and you can like decide again with curves, you can decide, so this is your black point. This is, this is essentially transparency. So you could have, you know, you could like bring it way up here and make it really subtle or you bring a white point in, which is basically means more area is going to be solid. And however steep you have this, like the steeper this curve is, the more harsh 
the, the less graduation you have between light and dark and therefore transparent and opaque, you can get a really graphic noise like this by just crushing it. So that's something you're really gonna wanna play with. So that's a really quick blaze through how to import this and a bit about how to use it. It's really up to you what, what clips you use, what blend modes you use, what combinations of clips and combinations of blend modes. Um, uh, so you really just gotta jump in and play with it. Um, so that is it.